everyone, hi this is Coaster the Tea Fox, and I'd like to welcome everyone back to another great video that I have just for you about how to perform in fursuit and how to bring out the best in your original character. But first, but first, I would like to wish everyone a very happy National Coming Out Day where you can be yourself and let your color shine. Happy National Coming Out Day everyone! Okay, so you've got your first fursuit, or maybe you've been fursuiting for a few months and you'd like to find out how to bring out the best in your character, such as a personality, how to express yourself more fully, and how to just get the most out of your character from the inside to the outside where everyone can see. Whether that be a partial like I'm wearing, such as with the head, hand paws, and arm sleeves, or whether you're wearing a full bodysuit, which would include these items and an entire bodysuit, tail, feet, paws, and the works. So, how do you start out? One of the great ways to start out with learning how to pose and how to get the best out of your character, first thing is look in a mirror. Look in a mirror. Mirrors are your best friend in this. Not only can you see exactly what's going on, you can find which point of contact where you're looking at your character through your own eyes is going to be the best point. And there is a certain sweet spot right here in the field of vision where it's going to be right, usually it's right in your blind spot where you're looking right at someone. And that is going to be the direct contact. So let's say I'm looking directly at you, which I feel this is about where my center point of focus would be if you were looking at me in this costume. So uh, let's see, I'm like trying to get the best expression. So this kind of expression would be happy, bouncy, bouncy, happy stuff, this kind of energy. For myself, I have discovered that a head tilting, head tilting is a great way for me to express positivity, happiness, bounciness, playfulness in my costume. Some hopping too is good. Um, this here is going to be your center point. If this center point moves over, I can see you. But if I'm looking directly at you, I physically inside here can't see you. So it's important to remember that if you are engaging with someone, it's got to be about remembering your body language. Because if you try to see the person like this, it looks almost as if you're breaking your eye contact with them and looking off in this direction, when in reality, in you and yourself are actually looking at them. Another great way to express yourself is through extremity movements. Extremity movements are great ways to express subtle body gestures that need, that need to be exaggerated. If you don't exaggerate your body movements, something such as simple as, like I just did, like this, this is what I would normally be doing if, if let's say I was just uh, doing like, oh, do you know this answer? And I went, eh. The, the subtlety of it is not that noticeable and could possibly be easily missed from a distance depending on how far away you are. So in fursuit, I naturally have a very exaggerated hand gesture of motion naturally, so I tend to express myself a great deal more and it does help when I'm in fursuit. So let's say I went, oh, have you seen, have you seen the new, ah, uh, the new thing that they got, the, the new game? Have you played it? Have you played the new game? Just a lot of the motion, a lot of the hands. Have you seen this? And another great thing you can do too is, don't tell me when I just did that. The thing is too, if you don't have a large enough mirror, you can actually get full body length mirrors because this little tiny mirror is not going to be very much to look in for to, to see what you're actually looking at when you're doing the posing. So something like, something kind of like this mirror here is going to do a lot better. This kind of mirror, is more what you're looking for. This kind of mirror. Ugh, snap. Ugh. 
always lift with your legs at your back. But let's say, for example, let's say you don't have access to a mirror. If you have a cell phone, you can actually take pictures of yourself doing different poses. So something that I like to do with that is taking my phone, standing it up on a flat, steady surface, surface and posing it, and then putting the timer on and seeing how we look from these different angles. Looking down, for example, looking down gives the idea that you're following something or that you're on the hunt for something, that you're on the pursuit for something. Looking up, you get the idea that you're kind of maybe confused, or if you're just looking up at something, uh, something fascinating, something like you're, like just you're onto something. Like, oh, looky, stars, or something cool like that. Now, how do you do a grumpy face? How do you do, let's say, let's say you want to show the body language where you are not excited, or you're not bouncing, and you're not great thing to do with your extremities, hands on the hips, instantly shows, hmm, well he's not happy, he's not angry, but he's stern. Or maybe something like this, something like this, hand motions. conveys a completely different message than let's say you were doing this if your head was up and you were doing the same thing. Dramatically different different look. Different, different look. And like I said, it depends on your extremities, body language, and then of course the position of your face. Here's something else you can do as well. If you ever see somebody do this in fursuit, it looks like they're laughing. But if you see them do this, it looks like a sense of shock. Every time these hand, hand positions change, the gesture begins to change. So let's see, I did two hands. It looks like I'm possibly excited or shocked or thrilled. And I went. Kind of looks like I just got scared of something. Compare it to something like this. This kind of gesture may signal that you are ashamed of something or you're sad. Here's another gesture that works well too. Same kind of same kind of gesture in a sense, but slightly different, which portrays possibly a deeper or slightly more direct meaning of what you're trying to portray. I'm going to go ahead and throw in one of the last few things about, about body language and fursuit posing, and that is don't stop moving if you're in the presence of someone that is watching or somebody that you are fursuiting in front of if you want to create the impression that your character is alive. Now, if you are to be stagnant like this, everything just seems lifeless. Lifeless and very, um, just very dull and boring. And when you're a fursuit and you've paid hundreds if not thousands of dollars for your fursuit, you're definitely not going to want to be just standing around and not really moving. And that's what you want to portray when you're first shooting in front of others. You always want to keep that costume somehow, somehow moving, somehow getting a little bit of energy into it. And I would cover more, but I don't want to take too much more of your time. But I would just like to say thank you so much for watching and be sure to check out the rest of the videos over here if you would like to see skits of how to care for fursuits how to uh, sew with fursuits, and just if you'd like in general the different skits that my mate and I would like to, like to create. Thank you so much for watching everyone, have a great day, and bye for now. Bye! And I would like to give an extra thanks to the supporters that help make me make my videos and help me just push through the difficult times. Thank you Rocky Red Panda for uh, helping with your support, and also thank you for donating to the channel. And thank you, Lunatic for Life, for your Patreon support. Every bit helps. Thank you much, everyone, and have a great day. Love you. Bye.